how about Ellie? We'll name her Ellie. She's Ellie. If we weren't here today to take these dogs off the farm, they'd either be picked up to be taken to a slaughterhouse, market or restaurant. Um, and we, we know what that is. And, you know, the, the animals are just treated with such utter disregard. And it's a very, very sad existence. Like I always think, the dogs sit there, you know, waiting to die and, and then fight to live at the last moment and it's, it's heart-wrenching to witness. These dogs have lived their entire life on this dog meat farm in Korea and, you know, they live in really deplorable conditions. I mean, they're in terrible tiny cages, just disgusting. Shipping out all 57 of the dogs that are on the farm. So, in this case, we've been talking to the farmer about helping him to rework the land, to build greenhouses, and start growing crops. It's been a long journey getting the dogs here um, and for a while I didn't think we were going to make it so seeing them go off means everything today. Hello. <laughs> this is Ellie and Ellie is one of the lucky dogs who have come to us today from Korea from a dog meat farm. Hi sweetie. We're just so thrilled to uh, be picking her up here today. All of the dogs initially are going to San Francisco SPCA, who has graciously agreed to host them. They've set up fantastic spots for them. And then from there, there are a number of partners in the Bay Area who will be coming to pick them up and get them really ready and uh, to get adopted into their homes. Ellie is really a representative for dogs that, you know, still are in the dog meat trade in Korea, and Korea is the only country that farms dogs for the dog meat trade. I'm so happy that Ellie is here now and that she is going to have the life she deserves and not be food. And Humane Society International is working so hard to end this horrible trade. They don't know how lucky they are, really.